going on everybody it's been a couple weeks since i've fooled with this thing since i set the motor in there but uh i got a little time so i reckon i'm gonna see what i can get done to it not really sure what i'm gonna do i guess just start putting stuff on it and see what happens and see where i get i reckon but first i'm gonna crank my old c10 up let it sit there and run for a little bit because it ain't been ran in a few weeks so uh we'll do a little cold start on that real quick Debo wanted to go for a ride, so I reckon I'll take him for a little ride down the road real quick. Hopefully, don't run out of damn gas. Put your seatbelt on, boy. These tires ain't got much tread left on them, but uh. to begin that's the question where to begin a lot to do a lot to do i reckon what i'm gonna do real quick is uh get the headers out and see how they fit and then i might try to fool with the power steering pump hooking it up ain't sure how i'm gonna have to do that yet but uh shouldn't be too big of a deal here's my headers anybody wondering they are Scone, scone field, scone field. I don't know how the hell you say that, but you can figure it out for yourself. That's what they are. Yeah, dumbass, you should have took them off first. Pretty much where they they'd be sitting. Well, a little bit different if they was bolted up, but looks like they're gonna clear everything pretty good. Not hitting nowhere. See how the other side does. I'm a little bit smarter than I was a while ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo these first. Right, I think I'm gonna move this thing back over here real quick. Jack this motor up. Go ahead and tighten the motor mounts down. That way, when I put all this, the headers and all this shit on, I ain't got to take them right back off to do that. Getting dark on me, but uh, still gonna do this. What I'm gonna do? Jack the motor up. Well, I'm gonna get the motor mount bolts in the motor mounts on each side, and then tighten up these two bolts here. So the uh, sliders or the mounts will be tight and they won't move and then i'll pull the bolts back out jack the motor up and it's got another bolt on the very bottom i'll tighten it up and then let it back down stick the motor mount bolts in it for good and then move on to the headers and whatnot <laughs> bolts in on each side but before I pull them back out and tighten the plate itself up I'm gonna uh, put this driver side header on and I'm gonna crawl under there and put my drive shaft in and make sure it's gonna fit just in case cuz I do got a pretty good bit of room right there so I might have to slide the motor back some I ain't real sure cause these raggly ass homemade mounts that whoever made you know, I don't really, I don't really know how good they're gonna work with all that. So I'm gonna check the drive shaft fitment. As long as the drive shaft fits in there good and the header fits good, I reckon they'll be good to go as far as mounting it in there for good. 
shaft in well not bolted in but it's in there that's gonna work uh cross members lined up got a couple bolts in it on each side so i know it's straight i'm gonna straighten this header out a little bit <clears throat> got her jacked up so i need to let it down i'm gonna bolt this header on here and let it down and see how everything looks then as long as it's all still good, then I'm going to tighten all this shit up. Alright, everything's fitting good. I got it jacked back up. And that's the bolt right there I got to tighten up. I'm going to need some new spark plugs because porcelain's cracked on that one. Oh, and got one that's broke too. Imagine that. it in there for good now got that one over there tight i just gotta tighten that one up i'll do it tomorrow got the headers just hanging on there for now we'll push this thing back out the way out from under this deal cover it all up put everything up for tonight and work on it again tomorrow or in a couple of days whenever i get the chance to oh and as far as power steering lines that one bolts right up, and then your low pressure, low pressure side, you just slide it on there and put a clamp on it. It don't. That's all it needs. Tough ass hose. Dealt with a lot of tough ass hose in my life. Our steering line's done. No modification needed there. I just shortened that line up a little bit because it was stupid long. Oh, and it is the next day, by the way. Nice and sunny today. So maybe it won't rain. Just hot as hell. This is my fuel lines I'm going to be using off of a donor motor here that was swapped into a 90s truck before for a lot of the parts I'm using or coming from uh, throttle cable I'll be using computers over there but get these fuel lines off and I'll have them got the wire wheel to or the intake is going to be clean all that oxidation up. Then I'm going to put the little vent deal on there. All right, got that crap cleaned off. So it's smooth now. Got the steam line put on there. Put a couple grounds on it from body to the motor and then from the frame to the motor. So I got this thing up in the air. Got my fuel lines about to hook up. Got my portable shop floor. It was stupid nasty on this truck. It's like 340,000 miles of road grime and oil leaks and transmission leaks and all kind of leaks. Alright, I've been fooling around with other stuff. It done got dark on me, but did get the fuel lines on there earlier. And for anybody wondering, all these lines and this filter and everything is just the stock TBI stuff. Stock TBI return lines. These lines here are just made up with the LS style 
push lock fittings on the end to hook up to the LS fuel rails. All I did was took the old TBI lines off and hook these up in place of them. Like I was saying, we got the push lock fittings, the LS fuel rails. And they just got some fittings made onto this line here. It looks into the factory fuel lines and factory fuel filter down there. Got the bed unbolted and lifted up here so I can get to the fuel pump so I can change it out. Like I said, this thing is stupid nasty. I gotta clean that up somehow so I don't get dirt and grease and crap all in the gas tank. My seat notches are done several years ago and lowered it. My name welded into the frame. I forgot I did. Yeah, we'll get that cleaned up and get that sending unit and fuel pump out. Alright, I got it decently clean. Some wire brushes brake cleaner compressed air to blow it all away with uh, undo these lines and pull the thing out of there she is came out with pretty much not too much of an issue did split the vent line hose but uh i'll replace that ain't no big deal at all a little bit of trash but no rust in the tank just good all right got the center unit and fuel pump apart old tbi pump Vortex pump, they both use the same plug, so it plugs right up. Only difference is the this part right here is a little bit smaller than this one, so instead of using these little clip deals, I'm gonna put a clamp on this end and I'll just use this on that end like it was. But uh, I am gonna test this pump out real quick, make sure it does work before I put it all in there and stick it all back together. She works all back together. Fuel pumps all back in, everything hooked up except for that vent line. I'll uh, replace that and hook it back up tomorrow. But for now, I'm done with this. Dog's tired, I'm tired. Got most of my tools up. Gotta get my shop floor up and get it cleaned up and put up. But I reckon that's gonna be the end of this one. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Later.